What is going on? I'm Zedmot. That is Zedmot. Of course, every single Supercell game in that shop gives you all of the benefits of putting a creator in there. 48% better win rate. Uh, we are about to jump on into the seven engine room level. Um, I know I told you yesterday to get to six. That was if you wanted to get in diamond. If you want to stay in diamond and keep playing, you need to get going to seven. My other account has hunkered down. I spent on some silly things like laser rangers and extra machine guns and stuff just to play that out until, of course, I hit 21.5, which is vital, vital, vital. I show this image often. It is how I choose to play Warships. Maybe you don't care about the rewards. Maybe you don't care about where you start next season. You just like the gameplay aspect of it. But it is worth knowing that 21.5, if I get that low, means I fall out of rank 12 next season. Obviously, you want to stay in Diamond for those end of season rewards, but maybe you don't care and you just want to keep grinding and playing. Regardless, we're going to jump into Seven, and I am going to copy Requiem of, a Sol of Souls base. Now, why this is important is because A, he's got a pretty good win rate, 51.2%. There are people with better win rates that might have a better base, but you know what? It's Rec's birthday, so... What the heck? Now, obviously his birthday in the Western Canada, in other time zones it's not, but happy birthday, Rec. Um, for those of you who don't know him, he is absolutely infatuated with Sergeant Brick. We're not going to be using her in this video, but uh, I'll be back. We're going to first of all show you how many keys I've got, then we'll be back. So I have saved 247. I don't have any chests for the next six hours, so we're going to make that leap a little bit early. We're going to get that next engine room. Um, that's not the important bit. The important bit is we've got enough to get past that heavy choppa. That is the important detail. And of course, we're four keys short. So here I figured, hey, I've got more than enough. But no, we don't. We're four keys short. Awesome. That is the most exciting news of the day. So uh, I really, really, really wanted to go get that grappler. We're not going to be able to do that, but we've already made the change. So there's no going back. Now we're going to replace that laser, or that damage amplifier with a sky shield. So expensive on the diamonds. We're going to replace that shock blaster with a doom cannon. Let's just double, triple check here. Almost certain it's a doom cannon. I think this is a pretty standard base people have been running. Yes, yes it is. So spending those diamonds, and this is a pretty good segue just to mention, if you're not getting 29 diamonds every single day, what the heck are you even doing, my friends? This task force, of course, is triangle nine, 29 diamonds every day guaranteed. Now, if you're not a max level with 200 plus intel a week who's used to hitting Forlorn Hope, don't worry, we've got you covered. There are other task forces. Do reach out in the comments. Uh, we're going to pick up all of this stuff, so many stuff, and then we are slowly but slowly but surely going to build ourselves that seven engine room base. We're not just going to leave it like that. I'm going to come back and it'll magically be set. And just like that, the magical base fairies have come and built us a base glaring hole in that middle where the grappler should be. Uh, quick other note on the offensive side. I feel like Kavon is likely the hero of choice right now, but we don't have him. So we're just going to have to rely on bombardiers. It's going to be ugly, my friends. I would not have started this video if not for the fact. Oh, by the way, also do make sure you go back and max out those heavy choppas once you unlock them. I didn't do that previously. Did it offline? I don't know if that's the right word for it. Um, we're going to drop two boats, heavy choppas, then all bombardiers and bullet Ah, uh, shock knuckles? Taunt. Maybe let's go with taunt. We'll just have to see what our opponent brings at us. Not sure what's going to be the best ability. Really, really would... Actually, you know what? Maybe brick. Brick might be the answer to the problems. And it is Rex's birthday. We'll just have to see if we get a six or we get a seven. I would love to get a six right now. Trying out those heavy choppas. Yes, this is exactly what I was hoping to do. Now, 
With these bases, as you've seen, you can come in, get all of those mortars out of the way with um, bombardiers, and then walk through the base. But I want to try things a little bit differently. We'll just have to see how this is going to go. I'd like to try this. We're going to try and hit it from the back with our good friends, the Heavy Chopper Rocket Chopper, because we can go one, two, all the way through. Now, the problem is we're seven engine rooms. That won't, we're going to get, we're going to get wrecked here, I feel like. So we're going to bring our bombardiers in. We're going to bring bullet and energy drink in. And I feel like that's too many. There we go. Let's go something like this. We need to hurry the heck up. We're going to drop our bombardier there. And then we're going to drop another bombardier as soon as that flare starts to expire right about now. Again, that flare is so vital being alive. That way they don't walk all the way to that flag. You'll watch they stay way below that flag. And as a result, they're only going to take one for that one dude. Actually, second one walked into space perfectly. That was absolute perfect execution of how not to do things by our bombardiers. But, big fat but, we are clearing all of this. And as a result, as long as that left-hand side guy, there we go, I knew exactly that was going to happen. We're going to cover that guy up, and now we can slowly, but slowly, but surely bring the rest of our troops in, and that should set us up for great, great success. As our bombardiers clear some things, as our shocks start to arrive, trying to keep those critter launchers from absolutely ruining our day. And now Bullet is going to not clip that boom mine because why would Bullet be helpful like that? One more shock to get that left hand side going well. One more shock to get that right hand side going well. And we should be absolutely cruising. Without the extra troop damage, yes, we're a little bit behind. But against a six, we should be able to clear this base fairly darn quickly. Um, as long as all things go according to plan. Bullet still has tons of health. Those heavies on that left-hand side are standing in, doing a decent job. Let's get rid of this left-hand side rocket launcher because otherwise it's gonna start to do some damage on us. And now let's clear out some of these stinking mines as Bullet is still hanging in, doing a great, great, great job. We are slow. Um, don't have a lot of faith that we're going to be able to hold on to this, but maybe just maybe our opponent has fizzled. I feel like we started pretty... Oh no, that was absolute train wreck right there. Bullet had full health, or no health. I had the GBE and then I absolutely blew it. So we're going to have to rush this final, final hit getting all of those bombardiers onto that final engine room, throwing some critters out to hopefully keep those bombardiers alive, and then gross. And this is why going to seven without all the tools is not a great idea at all. We're going to lose to a six, I think. Jorg, did you wreck us? Yep, they definitely did. So they went up into 22. We went downwards, lost eight stars in the process. Really, really, really would like to have Kavan at the moment. Um, I should stop here. This would be the logical place to stop. That way I get that next chest. But we're going to keep going. Don't care. Uh, we'll do one more hit. So yesterday I said stay at six, today I said go to seven, but my go to seven math was a glimpse at best. So make sure you can get the tools required because everyone at seven already has those tools. And once you leave six, my base, no one was finishing my base at six, almost no one anyways. And now everyone's going to finish the base. That deck being so darn spread out is going to cause us nothing but problems. We don't have rifles even to distract that grappler. So it's going to be grabbing high value details. Gross. Uh, let's just check where that grappler is going to range. We can at least start to get some bombardiers out. We're going to go back to this left hand side ramp. I'm going to get some heavies out, get some of those guys out. And then slowly, but slowly, but surely, we're going to drop the rest of these guys on this side. 
Can we sneak one over here? Let's give that a go because why the heck not? We picked the wrong ability for bullet likely need to get that shock out because as you can see as soon as that grappler grabs a troop we're getting three critters out so it is vitally important to keep that grappler shocked bad things are going to happen otherwise you are just going to be so ridiculously slow and that is exactly why everyone or most people i should say have gone to that grappler because it's giving you all sorts of value simply by throwing it out there so decent I like this right hand side drop, I'm really quite happy with that to be completely and utterly honest, but I did not scout our opponent all that well, so I have absolutely no idea what they're sitting at for troop damage. Look at this, that right hand side bringing so much value, getting rid of that shock launcher, bullet doing almost nothing for us. You know what? I'm going to start kamikaze flaring. We've got enough of our troops standing in that I think we should be able to start with the kamikaze flares, trying not to zoom in and out too, too much. I know you guys get driven absolutely crazy by it. And now as that next, come on, need that next machine gun to go down and then we can get that next flare in. Also going to get bullet rocking and rolling. Come on, dudes. Come on, dudes. Let's go. Need, need, need that machine gun to go, and then we can get all of this done. We're not going to be super fast. We should be around 2 minutes 20, 2 minutes 30 if we want to have any hope of beating these players. 153 was acceptable, but man, bullets so useless for us. Oh, look at that! We picked up the win by one second thanks to that comma caught. That is a massive surprise. So, uh, use me as your warning call if you must. Did not go well, but went barely well enough. You need to be so fast if you're going to be going against those players who have not only the grappler, but that troop damage. Now, uh, people going this way as well, getting the hot pot, but that's going to get you the building damage, which I feel is less valuable than troop damage, but maybe just maybe I'm speaking out of nowhere. That's going to be it for me, though. I thank you for coming in and liking and sharing and more importantly, commenting. And of course, throwing code ZMOT in that shop. My outros keep getting longer and longer. I'm ZMOT. Thanks for coming in. Peace. Hi, honey.